Hello guys, so this is a random reading vlog, but in today's reading vlog, I will be reading popular book talk books. I have a few, let's see. One of them that I have been like skeptical just because I've heard nothing but good things about this series. I really don't like when I don't like a popular book, but obviously everybody has different tastes. But one of them is Things We Never Got Over by Lucy Score. I have the whole series, but this is the first one. The, this is a chunky book. So this is one of them. I also have this dark uh, romance. I think it's in the dark romance category. It's a mafia romance. Rural Prince by Sophie Lark. This is another really popular series. I'm pretty sure these two are on Kindle Limited. And one that I plan to listen to it on audio form is Fourth Wing. That book, who doesn't know about that book? Like everybody knows about it. I'm pretty sure the new book comes out on november i don't know which day i think it's is it the seventh i don't know why i have the seventh in my mind maybe not i don't know but i borrow it from my library so i'll be listening to it it's a 20 hours listen hopefully i will get through that in this video but if i don't finish it and finish these books i will get to it but those are the books that i'm planning to read in this vlog i'm listening to fourth wink right now to Aaron, my own Captain America. So I've been uh, only listening to Fourth Wing so far. Maybe I will start a book today. So I am 21% through Fourth Wing, which is 4 hour and 24 minutes. This is good. Like, I'm only 4 hours in, which is chapter 9. I don't know which page that is, but it's good. It's really, really good. I'm enjoying the audiobook. I get the hype. Um, This is my first time listening listening to a fantasy and it's my second time it's my first time reading like a full-on fantasy where there's like other creatures and it's really fun i feel like it's fast paced like fantasy it, it takes some time to get into it and that's pretty normal but i obviously can't listen to the audiobook all the time only when i'm driving or doing something but other than that i'll be reading this book the way I used to be. Uh, it's a really popular... Like, I've seen it a lot on Book Talk. It's a sad book, I think. Maybe not sad, sad, but I'm not sure. Um, The second book comes out on the 7th, and I received an arc. So I would like to read that. Um, I'm pretty sure I will not be reading the books that I said earlier. Because that is a book that I would like to read. So guys... I don't remember the last time I updated you guys, but I've been listening to a lot. Like, I'm eating this up. Like, the last time I updated you guys, I'm pretty sure I was like 20-something percent through. Do you see that? I am 41% through this. Sometimes don't like to read popular book talk books because they get a lot of hype. Sometimes it's just like, oh, okay, I'm hopping into the trend, let's say. But I feel like they don't really... Not that they don't actually like the books, but it's, I feel like it's too forced. I don't know. I feel like. um, You know, sometimes, obviously, it's normal that you don't like a super hyped book. It happens. And that is normal. That is extremely extremely normal. I thought this was the same thing. I thought like, oh, I feel like fourth wing, it's way too overhyped. Guys, it's really, really good. I get why people like it so much because I feel like it's a great book to get into fantasy and it's a great enemy to lovers. So far, uh, that is the progress that I made. But to be honest, I only want to listen to fourth wing and not have a care in the world. So that's that. crazy uh, hi guys i am loving it i don't want to stop listening to it i'm happy to have waited this long for this so that way i don't have to wait that much for the next book i feel like it's worth the hype i don't think it will be a five stars for me but it's definitely up there you know
Hey guys, you know yesterday I was like 70% through fourth wing and today I've been listening a lot and right now I am 90% through the book and so far things have been changing. I feel like the audiobook helps a lot because I don't think I could pronounce in my head half of the things I have said. Yeah, I, I really am excited to finish this. Today it's October 30. I don't know when you will be seeing this. I feel like you will be seeing this way later. But if I do finish this today, which I think I will, I will have to wait for the second book because the second book comes out on the 7th november 7th and i think i will i want to listen to it not buy the physical copy or the ebook but i'm really really excited <sighs> i'm crying um um oh my god <laughs> so um 96 breath that person i can't even speak i'm 96 percent through the book so i have a little less than an hour left oh gosh like i said i have an hour left so a lot can happen in that one thing that i noticed i don't know if it's because it's an audiobook but the chapters are pretty long in this book like some of them are more like 30 minutes and longer like this one it's more than an hour long which is insane that's the worst when you read a book and you get attached to a character like why <laughs> guys um i just finished fourth wing and to say i'm shocked that ending that ends on the biggest cliffhanger ever i can't believe that ended like that oh my god and i'm lucky that i only have to wait like a couple of days i don't know how people have done it i'm actually shocked at that ending i get why people like it so much it's not the five stars for me maybe if i was like into fantasy a lot and it's a great book and all but for me it will be a four 0.5 that book shocked me like i was into it from the second the cliffhanger like that should be illegal to end a book like that now i will have to check which book i should read so guys um earlier i told you guys that i finished fourth wing i think when i was like halfway through i started this book the way i used to be by amber smith and i've been reading it a lot i am 20 percent through which is not bad i am on chapter 14 and so far it's going good um check up trigger warnings for this book i've read heavier books but it has a heavy topic please check up trigger warnings for every book always check up trigger warnings but always make sure to check up trigger warnings of books that's a good way i would try to tell you guys as much as i can but sometimes i will forget but i've been really reading it a lot and it flows really easily like i'm surprised i'm 20 percent through the book and like i said check up trigger warnings please do check that out and yeah we'll just keep reading Okay, so I am 30% through the book. I'm kind of getting pissed at the main character, the girl. Because I feel like she's, I don't know. I know she's been through something. And there's this guy that's interested in her. And I feel like she's not giving him an opportunity. That's what is pissing me off. I feel like, I don't know. She's acting like he's shady when he's not. She says something. She's thinking another one. Like, she's confusing me. She's confusing me so damn much she's being really vague like i'm confused okay and if i'm confused and i'm reading in her pov that's something we will see how this goes I am 49% through this book. The first part is what happened. The second part, it's her sophomore year. I think that's how you say it. Yeah, sophomore. I think that's like first grade of high school. I don't know how school works in the US <laughs> that much. But now she's in her junior year and that is part three of the book. So we're following her through. We already saw her first year now she's in her second year i'm pretty sure junior is second year but um yeah so far it's really it's different from what i usually 
green and this i don't know how to say this sorry this is like women's fiction or, or fiction i don't know what type of book this is if you know let me know in the comments so i wanted to sleep early today but i'm hooked as you can see i've been crying i am on chapter 43 which is 80 percent through the book things are going everywhere i don't know if this is why but the girl is in high school. She's not the most mature girl ever. And it kind of reflects through her actions. It's like 1.25 a.m. And I don't think I will be able to sleep until I finish this. Because it's really good. It's good. But at the same time, it's annoying. Because of the little things. Immature things I feel like she does. Okay. Hi guys. <laughs> You probably can tell I've been crying my eyes out. The ending, I really liked how it's wrapped up. But at the same time, it sets up for more. So this book, the sequel is The Way I Am Now. Um, This book comes out on November 7th. By the time you're seeing this, it will probably have been out. I'm pretty sure. So this book was really good by the same time. So freaking sad. And I'm excited to read the next book but i am about to sleep and tomorrow i will tell you guys which book i will be reading next hello guys this video has been all over the place and to be honest i don't remember the last time that i filmed for this video it's been a couple of days i'm pretty sure not that long but i don't seem to remember but i am currently listening to the audiobook of caravel by stephanie garber i want to get through that series and the once upon a broken heart series because to be honest fourth wing put me in a fantasy mood maybe i will fall in love with the genre like many people did and today it's november 5th i think the last time i filmed was on the 7th so on the 7th i'm sorry on the 2nd so it hasn't been that long but yeah um this will be the last book from this vlog i know i've only been listening to books and reading on my candle so i'm sorry the video isn't that interesting but i've been all over the place but i am 20 percent through caravel i have like two hours of listen so i'm getting through and so far um obviously we all were getting to know the main character and i am on chapter nine and right now she is getting into this whole carnival thing because the only thing i know about this i knew about this book is the fact that i'm pretty sure the main character's sister gets kidnapped and she tries to look for her or something like that but so far i'm really liking it it's easy to follow so hey guys um um, obviously, I'm getting through the audiobook of Caraval. And guys, it's good. It's getting even better. Um, I'm trying to see. I am 68% through the book, which I'm getting there. I've been working. Um, so while I'm working, I am listening to it. So to give you guys a little background of what this book is about, it's about this girl named Scarlett, and she has a younger sister named Donatella. And obviously it's fantasy. They're from this island. I don't remember the name for the life of me, so don't ask me. But they, you know, live with their father. Their father is this really, uh, I think he's in the governor. I'm not sure. But, you know, he, he has, he's powerful. And their mom disappeared when they were younger, both of them. So Scarlett took it upon herself to always be there for her sister take care of her and protect her from her father. Her father is not the nicest man uh, at all. And there's this caravel where this guy uh, named Legend, you know, it's really like magic. And everybody wants to go to this caravel and all of that. So, um, when since she was younger, her grandma talked to her about this, about uh, this caravel and how magic it is and how fabulous it is. So since she was younger, Scarlett and her sister always have wanted to go to 
this carol she started to write this alleged sir letters you know saying how she wished to go to carol and all of that and at the end she gets an invitation she's super happy but she can't because her father and boom they happen to go to the carol and what happens there her sister gets kidnapped by this a legend dude and it's all like part of a game but so far I'm really liking it it's interesting I'm getting through it like pretty fast and it's a great way to you know listen to a book at the same time that you're reading another one I love that but so far that's what we have guys so I wanted to talk about Caraval I finished the book um this one it's the first book I don't know the name of the series but it's part of the Caraval series and that that is the first book and you know you like you get to know the characters the world and all of that and this book was so good um i listened to the audiobook like i've said previously and this book was just so 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 good like you didn't know what was real what was fake there were so much so technically um i think i said it but it was about scarlet and her sister and they go to this carnival and her sister tella uh, happens to be kidnapped for the game and it's this whole mess like scarlet goes through so much and it's crazy to think like some things were fake and some were real and even me as the reader or listener i didn't know what was happening like at the end the big plot twist i was like the reveal and all of that i was like what just happened i swear i had to stop what i was doing because i was quite shocked i was like what is going on um i'm really liking uh stephanie garber's writing and this book i read it a four stars um i feel like i will like the books more as the story progressed that's why this one is four stars for now that's the rating that i'm giving it so yeah i just wanted to say that i love this book i totally recommend it's the perfect way of fantasy mystery romance like it was just so 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 good and i totally recommend but yeah that is all for today's video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video guys bye